Hey guys, I am so excited to be coming to you today with one of my first ever recipe videos and today we are making Collie Mac and Cheese. I first made this on one of my meal preps a couple weeks ago and like it just exceeded my expectations beyond my wildest dreams and I just knew then that I had to share it with you so that you could know exactly how to make it. So we are going to go over the ingredients and then the full macros for everything will be in the description box below and at the end of this video. The one thing that I love the most about this recipe is that it's so versatile. You're literally going to hear me say just about everything is optional and that's because you can make it exactly the way that you want to. So for this recipe, you're going to need six cups of cauliflower, two cups of chicken stock, 16 ounces of cheese, three tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and optional mix-ins are red pepper flakes and bacon. All right, so starting with our cauliflower. As you can see here, I have six cups of cauliflower and it's frozen in a bag. You can start with fresh cauliflower and cut it up. You can start with steam in a bag cauliflower. That's what I love. Just get you some cauliflower and put it in a pot. Next we have chicken broth, but you can use beef broth. You can use water. You can use anything you want. Just get about two cups of liquid to cover the cauliflower. And then let's get that boiling on the stove for 15 minutes covered. Okay, so while our cauliflower is softening, I have two eight ounce blocks of cheese. Right here I have sharp cheddar, and right here I have cheddar jack. Once again, the cheeses are totally up to you. I recommend at least eight ounces being sharp cheddar just because it gives it such a great flavor. Uh, and then the other cheese is up to you. Use Colby, use pepper jack, use whatever you want. And of course, I'm gonna chop and shred this myself, but feel free to buy pre-shredded cheese as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is cube about six ounces of each of these, and then I'm gonna shred the remaining two ounces to sprinkle on top of our Collie Mac. One thing I love about shredding your own cheese is that when you get down to the little nubby part that like just won't be able to be shredded, you get to eat it. Like that's the rule of shredding. Shredding 101, whatever can't be shredded gets to be eaten. Hmm. If it doesn't shred, you take it to the head. That's what I always say. You wanna make sure to stir your cauliflower occasionally while it's on boil. Okay, it's been 15 minutes and so the cauliflower is done. I have already drained it and you want it to be the consistency where even a plastic spoon just cuts right through it. So what I like to do is kind of just chop it up into smaller pieces. I feel like the smaller you make the pieces, the more macaroni like they feel. So, okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pour them into an eight by eight inch pan and then we're gonna reuse this pot. All right guys, so I have the oven preheating to 350 degrees. And while that is going, I'm going to make my cheese sauce. Now one thing I think I forgot to mention was the star of the show, which is heavy whipping cream. So I have six tablespoons of heavy cream here. Since I'm splitting this dish into six servings, I like to use six tablespoons of cream. But you could easily split this up into eight servings and use eight tablespoons or a half a cup. So I'm gonna put six tablespoons of cream and that block cheese back onto the stove. As you can see, our cheese sauce is thick and creamy and delicious. So one thing that I think is not optional, but I mean, it's to everyone's taste, is Dijon mustard. So I like to put three tablespoons in. That makes it very strong, but I like the flavor of mustard and I think it really adds something special to it. So I'm just gonna put in three tablespoons. 
and y'all know I like it hot. So I'm gonna put some red pepper flake in here. Once again, totally optional. You can put some black pepper, you can put some other spices, whatever you want, but this really sets it off. And now what you do is just add your cauliflower back in. Okay, now you just wanna to continue to stir and mash until it is all covered and incorporated. Once it's all mixed in, you just wanna transfer it right back to your eight by eight pan. Oh my gosh, look how cheesy that looks already. Oh my goodness. You're gonna spread it evenly. All right, this would be the perfect time to top it with some bacon or some other topping that you would want. I have that remaining four ounces of cheese that I saved over. And now I'm just gonna put that all on top. All right, now this goes into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes, just till everything is heated through and nice and bubbly on top. Okay guys, I'm just sitting here admiring the Kali Mac. It came out of the oven about five minutes ago. I'm probably gonna let it sit for another 10 to 15 minutes just for everything to cool off and kind of meld together like, but it smells delicious and I am so excited to give it a taste. Okay guys, it's been about 15 minutes total since the thing got out of the oven. It is still really hot, but I'm gonna go ahead and try some anyway. I am going to take just the smallest bite out of the corner here. Oh my God, look at that cheese. Okay, oh my God, the steam. Just creamy and cheesy and rich and delicious. Like this thing can go in so many different directions and still taste awesome. What I would do is probably throw some salt, throw some pepper, throw some red pepper flake on here. Maybe hit it with some hot sauce. like. Whatever you want, crumble some bacon on top, maybe some sour cream and chives, like the possibilities are endless. So once again, the full instructions and their recipe will be in the description box below, as well as the macros. And I'll go ahead and put the macros here for the entire recipe. Okay, so for me, this is gonna make six servings, which I will then put the macros again. Okay guys, that wraps it up for today. I really, really want you to make this and tell me how it is. Tag me on Instagram, on Facebook, respond in the comments. Let me know how you made it. If you added anything, changed anything, use any different cheeses, like I want to hear everything. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional awesome recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next time.